my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Is tomorrow the 10th? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I have a special guest today. I have my boyfriend, Alfredito. Say hi, babe. <laughs> hi, YouTube. <laughs> hi. So today, what we'll be doing is we are going to be doing our gingerbread houses. We're all Christmas out. He has his little Christmas lights. I got my jingle bells. Woo! Ready, rock and roll. And we're we're just we're just ready. Anyways, today for today's video, we're gonna be talking about our how we met and how we started dating. Are you ready to talk about that? No. I love this is my favorite story of all time. And um, if you guys hear little doggies in the background, it's because Al Alfredo's puppies are in the background and they're listening to us, so they're like, let us out. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this. Have you ever done a gingerbread house here? No? Only us blow, I bet. No, not even there. Really? I don't okay, know I think, do we need to melt this? Oh, you have to knead it for one to two minutes. So, long time ago, How back, <laughs> was it 20... 13? Yeah, 2013. 2013. I was young and beautiful. Me too. Less fat. About 20 pounds ago. 30 pounds ago. Possibly more. No, I think 30 pounds. Anyways, I used to hang out with my friends. We used to crash quinceañeras at this old, like, older, like, venue, venue. that they had uh, here where we live. And they had quinceañeras every weekend, but they also had some bomb ta uh, tacos they used to serve there um, they had, out of this truck. And so me and my friends would just go, we kick it, uh, we go to the quinceañera, we dance, at the same time we get a bite to eat. So um, it turns out we went one day, had some buddies and I had, a, I had my brother with me, but at the time I was pretty young. And we, we were eating tacos and you know, out of nowhere, um, this girl showed up, which happened to be Maria. Um, she shows up, comes out of this, this car, random red car, I remember, um, and she goes and orders tacos, and obviously, you know, I saw what I liked, and um, I didn't make a move there and then because obviously my friends were there, and I tried to play it safe because I didn't want nobody pulling a robbery, because <laughs> that has happened, and it will happen, and if your friend does that, uh, I don't know how much of a friend he really is, but... Anyways, so I played it safe, didn't make much of a deal about it, but my brother didn't notice that I looked over and that was enough to get my brother's attention to know that I liked a girl. And His so, brother just knows him. Uh, yeah, my brother knows my mannerisms. So we ended up leaving that night and as we were leaving, my brother's like, you know, who, you know, I saw that chick you were staring at and I was like, and I still tried to play it cool. I was like, no, you know, I, I wasn't staring at nobody and I was like, but he's like, yeah, whatever. Uh, saw you staring at that one girl that walked out of the red car and I was like oh okay yeah you did see so so you're like you know I know where she works and I was like how do you know where she works first of all you're a 14 year old kid you don't know where adult girls work at this point in your life unless you have a better game than me which you know most he people does. did <laughs> so it wasn't that long of a shot to beat so um Anyways, he ends up telling me that, you know, uh, Maria works at uh, a Sam's Club here in town. And I didn't believe him. I was like, he's like, you know, I just went with the grocery store with my parents and I saw her. She's a receipt girl. And I was like, whatever. I was over there checking receipts. Whatever, Adrian. You don't know. And so I ended up going and yep, there she was, you know, in her little vest. And it ended up being a Friday the 13th. And um, I was listening to the radio on my way to school and the radio said it's Friday the 13th do something special today And I was like, you know, that's a good positive way to think about Friday the 13th because it has a negative uh, perspective on it, so uh, We I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something special and I'm gonna I had already seen her at that place But I had never really gone up and talked to her I had gone, you know I had bought in like 50 hot dogs at this point just to, so she could kind of see my face I didn't um, she probably didn't and she so I was like, you know, whatever, uh, I'll just go up and try and see if I can talk to her. So September 13th, I grow a pair and I finally go up and, and 
this is my plan, you know, I'm gonna go in there and, and you know, just say, hey, how's it going, you know, and kind of, you know, start a conversation. Ended up being, I was a chicken shit, and I was about to walk out, and all of a sudden it started raining really, really hard that day. Like, it started raining, and it was sunny outside, but it was raining extremely hard, so I was like, screw that, I'm not going out. I'm just gonna wait it out, just wait the storm out here, and it was just right outside. Um, somehow she ended up standing right next to me, and that's kind of where I was staring um, at the rain. She actually. was staring at the rain, and we were both. Like and then I and yeah, and we. I, then I realized, oh dang, she's right next to me. Well, I was like, this is it, make or break. So I finally started talking, and we started actually a conversation that you know we started talking like we knew each other for years. It was kind of funny. So it, was, it came so natural. It, it came natural for us, and so that after that we started getting to know each other. You know, I found out she was going to school. I asked for her Facebook because I, I didn't want to ask for a number because I wanted to do my research. You know, you got to do your research, <laughs> check out anything weird, and Facebook is a good source to stock. Okay. That's what I used to be good at. Not <laughs> <laughs> no more. <laughs> Wait, okay, so now I'm going to tell my part of the story. Alfredo's dog just so it, choked in the background. Yeah, it's always chewing on her toe and <laughs> just choke on the background. <laughs> okay, so um, I was single, it was 2013. And I had just finished my freshman year of school. And I was just partying. I had, to ha I had a really good summer. I was partying. I was meeting a lot of people. And I was kind of over being single. I was like, you know what? I was meeting a whole bunch of just guys that just didn't check my list, you know? And it was the day where I was like, you know what? I'm over it. I'm over like meeting all these guys i'm over it i'm not gonna talk to anybody anymore that's the day i said i'm not gonna talk to anyone anymore and then i start i went to work and i saw this guy he Maybe literally you, okay and yeah okay. okay i'll tell him in a second no keep going so i was working it was friday the 13th and i see this guy walk by Three, not once, not twice, but three times. <laughs> and I'm like, what is, it? like, he just kept walking, like, I was at the exit door with receipts. Girls I, have no idea how hard it is for a guy to go up and talk to them if they really like them. They think it's easy. It's not. Being a guy is harder than they think. They only <laughs> see the results and the outcome, but they don't see it. I, I saw, I checked his receipt once. He walked by the exit door, he left. I was like, oh, okay, he left. The second time, he walked again and I was like, whoa, this guy's really cute. I'm like, dang, he looks like a football player. He was wearing this green jersey. Well, it, it was a Celtics jersey. And I'm Celtics. like, he looks like one of those guys that played football in high school. I'm like, he's hot. And then he walks the third time and I'm like, you again? And I told him, I'm like, you again? And then he's like, yeah. And then it started pouring rain. It was literally like a novella. I was just looking at the window. It was set up so perfectly, honestly. And I look over and it's him. And he's like, I'm not going outside. It's raining so hard. And he was like, what's your name? And I was like, oh, Maria Tamayo. But I said it so fast. Like I- Because she I, would get hit on left and right at yeah, Sam. So. I, I, I would get hit on every single day and think that he was going to remember my name. But I think he had already stalked me. No. No? Bad. No? Are you struggling? So bad. <laughs> so sad. So I would go... I that my bag is ripped. If you need to decorate, just use mine. And we can use yours to like put, put it as a glue. So then he left and we went about our day. And then when I got out of work, I checked my Facebook and I see his friend request. I was like, oh my gosh. I literally told him I hit my name only once and he sent me a uh, oh, that's the roof. He sent me a friend request. Like I haven't even started mine. Anyways, he got my number. And what happened after that? Yeah, we started just talking, getting we to started know each texting. Other, texting. And yeah. And wait, we're not done. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing, like. <laughs> We'll see you next video. Hopefully, I get this shit done. I wasn't gonna go to school in in the spring. I decided I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go to school. I'm gonna work two jobs and I'm gonna save so much money and I'm gonna buy and flip a car. And I told him my plan, and he's like, don't do it. Like, come to school. Like, 
you're you're not gonna come back blah 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 and i'm like no i am i'm this is just like my plan i'm gonna do it so i ended up not going to school in the spring and when i didn't go to school in the spring in january we were texting every day but he felt like i didn't give him clues that i liked him so before bachata fest a week before he stopped texting me completely and I was like what the heck this guy's not texting me and I didn't text him back because I was like too proud to text him and I was like he's not texting me whatever I'm gonna go to this dance and it was bachata fest go to the dance made you know I'm already having a good time at this point I'm just trying to forget Maria because you know I thought she was just a tease and she wasn't serious so I was like whatever I'm just gonna go meet some other girls and have some fun which I was, and then my friend tells me, he's like, oh, you know, Handshakes is here. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And we end up He's somehow... like, oh, yeah, that's cool, but he wanted to find me. So I ended up finding her somehow in the dance floor, and uh, yeah, we hit it off again, and kind of like sparks flew, and then she just decided to leave me halfway through the dance and not even say goodbye. And so then I was like, well, that was confusing as hell. <laughs> and so... Okay, so I left because I went with my friend that day and she was, while I was dancing with Alfredo, she was going to get in a fight with one of my so old friends girl. and she was going to get in like this huge fist fight and when I saw her, she's like, we gotta go and I was like, wait, but Alfredo had gone to the bathroom, it was like the whole Cinderella moment <laughs> Went to the bathroom for 30 seconds and she was gone, came out and she was long gone yeah, and uh, we had gone, my f my friend Olga, she was going to take um, these two guys home. They were our high school friends. So we're all walking to the car. And I see her again, there's a car with, with two, two other guys. dudes. And so like, well, two well, girls and two awesome. guys. I was like, that's awesome. But I had texted him, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry I had to leave. But like, honestly, that night we hit it off. Like, it was a good night. Like, we were dancing and... I was feeling him and he was feeling me. It was fun. And I just, I think throughout that time, I just, I think I liked him. Like I was getting to like him a lot more. And he was texting me and it was going good. We already lost like five subscribers. <laughs> We're like in the negatives now. You're like, babe, you're pushing it. You're pushing the limits. Well, thanks for guys for subscribing. Are you serious? It's not done. You have to talk like, about what you asked. Like and subscribe. <laughs> you have to talk about what you asked me to be your girlfriend, babe. Oh yeah, he came at me with the whole my boss just hit on me. Oh, stop! You have to tell it. Okay, so we were we were liking each other. We were digging each other. I was like going to the school. We were getting lunch together. We were driving to our date, and he's like Maria. He's like, do you like me? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> like, you're supposed to tell me. I'm, you know, like that was my mentality back then. But like, if you like someone, tell them. Like, don't be freaking weird. And my casita's falling, babe. No. Oh, no, it's working. Yeah. No. Anyway, so he puts me on the spot. And I was awkward as hell, like I was awkward, so why would he put me on the spot like that? And he's like, do you, so do you like me? And, cause he's always been like such a straightforward guy, like he's always been so straight up. And I was like, yeah, I like you. And, and then we get off, like to go mini golfing, and he starts like hugging up on me. We're all up on each other at that point. Game he was like, on. he was like hugging up on me and I was like, game on man. <laughs> I was like, okay, if this guy doesn't ask me to be his girlfriend today, I'm going to be so pissed because he's like hugging up on me the whole time. Like I, I, I was like, I'm going to be so pissed if he doesn't ask me to be his girlfriend. So then we leave uh, the golf course and what happens? Like I, I can't remember. We leave the golf cor uh, course. There used to play uh, like an indoor mini golf place and we went there, me and some group of friends and my friends knew that I was gonna pop the question that night, so I was kind of setting everything up. We ended up going to McDonald's to eat, and you know, we we're just chilling. But like, while we're, we were driving, we're, we're driving. You know, I'm kind of professing my love. 
she, we shared our first kiss. And he's like, so when am I gonna get a kiss? So when am I gonna get my first kiss? And then she's like, you don't ask. So I just, you know, planted one on, like. Okay, so back ask. then, let me tell you, back then, my mentality was like such like a movie, like, you know how in movies they like go up to each other like all romantic and they kiss each other? Like that was my mentality with everything. So I thought, I literally thought, I was like, like, he, he just came up to me and he's like, so when am I gonna get my kiss? And I was like, what the heck? You're not supposed to ask, you know? But you do ask, guys, like, consent is good. Ask before you do it. So anyways, we kissed, we had our first kiss. We waited eight months for this moment. <laughs> so you're stealing all my frosting, what are you doing? Why does yours look so good? Because I'm actually doing it. You're over here talking a little hard away. Like I had little boyfriends here and there, but like he was my legit ass. Like I'm gonna take you home. You're gonna meet my family as my boyfriend type of relationship. So it was, I don't know, it was like really special. Our relationship has been, we've had our ups and downs. In, no, we in, had our good, we had- But I mean, they definitely were different. Yeah. It was we, a learning experience for both of us. Yeah, them. honestly, like we had, it was hard. Like we did it. It was like our first legit relationship for him and for me. But after the first two years, our relationship, like we, we became best friends. Like I think at first, we just had so much attraction towards each other. We had a lot of infatuation that, um, uh, like we didn't have time to be best friends, you know? Yeah, I mean, we definitely <clears throat> adjusted. He's a mechanic. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I am not done. I'm gonna keep decorating this, but Alfredo's done. So I'm gonna show you. we're out of whipped cream. Yeah, we're out of frosting. Frosting. Look how cute his is. Love it. Don't mind the puppies in the background. So cute, and this is mine. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.